In this tutorial, I'll show you how to hook up Google Sheets to a Dexterous project. So the first thing that you'll want to do is get a layout. You can build one from scratch. I'm just going to use one of the default ones just to show you how this works quickly. So I'm just going to choose this one here. It's kind of similar to what I want. And what I have to do is I have to adjust this layout to make the zones on the layout, the different parts of the layout, match the column headers here exactly. So I'm just going to open up this layout and I'm just going to check that everything is named the same. So I have a title zone here, but you'll notice there's no capital there. So I'm just going to change that to match this column right here. This um, zone here is called description, whereas I've called it ability over here. Obviously you could edit either one, but I'm just going to go ahead and edit it here, call it ability. Um, what else we've we got? We've got this ability mechanic. I might leave that one for now. I've got HP. I will just check. Is this one called HP? Yes, it is. We've got attack, but this is ATK. So I'm just going to change that to the same. Call it attack. We've got mana cost. What is this called? Circle value. I'm just going to change that right now. Mana cost. Um, I'm not actually using these other things, so I'm just going to go ahead, select the zones, and hit delete to delete them from the layout. So I'm just cleaning it up a bit. I'm just modifying this layout for my own purposes. Over here, I do actually want this flavor text, and there's no spot to put it over here. So obviously, you might have to you know, go ahead and adjust, adjust the layout a little bit. I'll, I'll select these ones. I'll just bump everything up for now, and I'll make a new zone. And this can be flavor text down the bottom. I'll just make it super tiny for now. This layout's going to look a little bit odd, but you know, let's just have a really small flavor text for now. So I'll just go ahead and I'll name this zone and call it flavor text. Okay, so it should be good to go. Oh yeah, the last one is image. I'll just make sure this is called image in the same, the same name there. Um, okay, so this should be good to go now. I'm going to call this Gills Fantasy Creatures Layout, just so I know what it is. I'll save it now. And I'll, that was actually on the project stream, but just to show you how to get there, if, you've, if you create a project, um, this is the project that I want to put it in. I'm going to add a component here, and I'm going to choose Existing Layout. I'm going to select the layout that we just adjusted there. So Gills Fantasy Creatures. Okay, so here it is. And I, I bring in the first card, and that's what it looks like. You can zoom in here if you want to see it a bit um, more up close. Now I want to pull all this data over here. I want to pull this over here into Dextrous. And how do I do that? I click File. I click Share. Publish to Web. Now, I do want to link um, the entire document for now. You can actually choose just a specific tab, for example, sheet one. But because I've only got one tab, I'm just going to go ahead and, and publish the entire document. We don't want web page, though. We want CSV. That stands for comma separated values. And all we really need to know is that we want to copy this link here. This link auto updates as long as you've got this selected down here. Um, automatically republish when changes are made. So when I make a change over here in Google Sheets, um, I'm just going to copy that link. Um, the link, the URL that I just copied, will get updated with the changes that I've made here. It does take sometimes a minute or two to update. So if you're pulling stuff across into Dextrous and it's not updating, it might just be that you need to give Google Sheets a tiny bit more time to update. Back in Dextrous over here, so I've got this um, untitled component, I'll call this Fantasy Creatures. So I just double clicked to name that. Now I'm going to move my own head out of the way here and click this little um, import CSV data here. I need to set it up with the link. So we could upload a file, but because Google Sheets has this handy um, link URL feature, I'm actually just going to click here and paste that URL right in there and now click import data. Yes, I'm sure I want to overwrite what's there because there's nothing in the table at the moment. Now, what's amazing about this, OK, so now you can see all my data is now brought in, which is super duper cool. And what's actually really cool about this is that um, obviously your link for your project will be saved in Dexterous. And then if you want to, you can just um, click this, 
and refresh data to get new data from here. Or you can click this import all CSVs. So if you have multiple components, let's say you've got 10 components and you've got maybe different CSV links for them, you can actually hit this and it will refresh all of them, which is a massive time saver. So what you'll notice um, straight away is that this data has been pulled in, but obviously the images are incorrect. So what I'll do is I'll just click on each one and if I click on that, it will take me here. And I'm just going to open up this. I'm going to go to my folder where I've got the images. And obviously, you just go across for each one and select the correct image. So this is the uh, Orc Champion. Oops, what am I doing? Orc Champion. This one is the Minotaur. And so on and so forth. So it's it should be quite straightforward to get all your data into here. Now, what you might be asking is, well, I've now I've now got these here. I've got these, and these are in the dexterous table, right? But this human wizard.svg path, that image, that's the name of the image that I've got here, that isn't over here in Google Sheets. And what you want to do is you want to keep Google Sheets as the source of truth. So we need to copy it out somehow. So essentially what you can do is you can go along and choose the images here in Dexterous, and then you can actually use this button down here, copy table to clipboard, and that will copy everything you've got here. So imagine I've gone down and I've selected all the correct images here. Now I can copy the table and I can come over here into Google Sheets. Let me just make this a bit bigger. And say if I paste here, for example, you can see that I've got, um, I've got these things. So I'm just going to grab these images here, for example. Imagine I've got the whole row, though. I'm going to paste them right here. And that's just a really easy way to get the images um, to get the images straight into Google Sheets. And then once you've got them in there, you don't need to do that anymore. You can just hit refresh because you'll be mostly um, just toggling the different, the, the different stats of your creatures there. Another really common thing you'll want to do is get some formatting out of Google Sheets here. So for example, before we have the ability Arcane Blast for this wizard here, and we've got the ability mechanic, so deal two damage to target creature or player, we actually want to show that on the card probably. Um, but how do we do that in a way that's easy to update in Dexterous? What we can do is we can combine these two here so I'm actually going to go ahead and name this something else, like I'll call it ability keyword. So now this won't get imported into Dexterous, because remember Dexterous is looking for an ability column and there currently isn't one. So just bear that in mind. So there isn't an ability column yet. And what we're going to do is we're going to create one. So I'm just going to select a column. I'm going to insert a new column and I'll call this one ability and what we're going to do is we're going to combine these two cells to make a new one here it's super cool in in google sheets you can say um equals so this is a formula it simply equals b2 plus a c2 and then i hit enter oh uh, what's it doing uh no it's not plus that's right because it plus is talking about numbers um, and the word and here is talking about our uh, text. So, yeah, my bad there. So we go plus, and it's look at this suggested autofill. It's actually kind of guessed that I want to do this all the way down. Um, yes, I do want to do that. So I'm going to hit control enter, and there we go. If we open up this, we'll see arcane blast deal two damage. Now, of course, what you'll notice here is these two words are merged together. Arcane Blast, there's no space in between. So what I want to do, instead of going along here and adding spaces here, I'm just going to um, change this formula a little bit. So I'll go B2. Uh, if, you, if you want to do this, you can. Um, so I'm going to go and quote marks here. I'm just going to give myself a space. And actually, I, I want a, a semicolon, a colon, sorry, colon here. So I want the ability keyword and a colon and then the explanation like that. So what that's doing is it's combining B2 and this bit of text and C2. So now if I hit enter, oh, I get an error. Oopsie, what have I done? I think it should be to, it's probably that. It's probably, yeah, okay, it's double, it's double quotes, not single quotes. So I'm gonna hit enter now 
And there you can see I've got a nice space. I've got that semicolons. Well, I'm going to now drag this formula down. Everything else is the same. That's looking pretty good. The last thing I'd really really would like is I would like arcane blast to be in bold because it's a key word. Um, again, what I can do is I can change this column over here or I can actually change the formula here depending on what I want to do. Um, so here's just a reminder of some of the different um, basic formatting that you can do here in Google Sheets, italic, bold, bold, italic, underline and strike through. Let's say I only wanted some keywords to be bold, then I should go ahead and just modify the certain ones here. But in this case, again, I probably actually want to just make them all the same thing, all bold. And if I do want to make them all the same thing, I'll just go ahead and change my formula. Now over here in my formula, um, I'm going to say equals. Now I'm going to do the double quotes again and the end. I'm going to put two stars in there. So I want to make it two stars and arcane blast and another two stars. Sorry, I'm just focusing really hard here. And the rest. So what that should do, yeah, okay, great. It'll bring in arcane blast with the two stars there and then that'll be bold. So again, I'm just going to drag this down and now I should have really nicely formatted um, text as it comes in over here. So I'm going to hit import all CSVs again. Okay, it hasn't come in. So this is a really good example of what I was saying before. You've got to give it just a minute um, to update sometimes. So I'm just going to click it again. Yay, there it is. Okay, so it's, it's come in now, which is really nice. And they all look nice and bold. If I wanted to put these on the next line, this um, explanation on the next line, what I could do is I could come here and say uh, new line. To get a new line into text in Google Sheets, um, you can use Control Enter. So say if I was here and I wanted a new line, I can hit Control Enter. And then this is a second line down here. Um, to get that into our formula over here, however, we just have to make sure that the new line is inside the quote marks. So a good spot for it would be right after the semicolon there. So we've got the ability keyword, the, the colon, sorry. And then I'm going to hit control enter here. And if I click out, yep, that's how I want it to look um, with the description on a new line, just like that. So now knowing this, if I wanted to get my flavor text to be italic, I could come across to my flavor text and I could just put a star in front and a star at the end, and then that will come into Dextrous as italic. But let's say if I had 100 of these, it would be pretty onerous to go through and add a star to each of them. So instead, I can use a trick. So I'm just going to show you this trick. Um, and that is, again, to use the AND formula. So I'm going to say this column K equals. Now I'm just going to use the double quotes. I'm going to grab a star. So it equals a star quotes and the contents of I2 and another star. So now if I hit enter, yep. Okay. So that is nicely italic. I can drag that down now. So just check. Yep. That looks right. And now if I want to, I can actually control C that. So I'm copying this. I'm going to select here and instead of pasting, because if I paste it, it would actually paste the formula. But this is actually looking really good. I don't want the formula. I want the outcome of the formula. So this here, I'm just going to paste the values. So I'm going to hit Control Shift V. And now I've got just the values here. And they've got the stars nicely there. So they'll all come in as italic. I can go back to column K. I can delete all that. That's just a handy trick um, to change things really easily um, across a whole column in Google Sheets. So now that I'm ready, I can actually import again into Dextrous. And again, because this doesn't have, because this doesn't have a, a column header here that matches something in the layout, Dextrous will just completely ignore this. And that's really good because it means we can have all kinds of data and other things going on in our Google Sheet. And Dextrous just doesn't care about it. It only cares about the things that match up with the zones on here. So now if I hit import, this should all come in. And yet, if I zoom in on those, that flavor text there, you can see that is nicely italicized. 
So yeah, that's just a quick overview of how to use Google Sheets and get some formatting in. Thanks so much.